hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, in today's video I'm gonna install a new vest controller on my car um, and also show you the wiring required for you guys to install a vest controller the controller we're gonna install today uh, it's uh, from Trump aboard is the most powerful controller on the market right now the most powerful vesco on the market right now uh, it can go up to 100 volts uh, and 250 up continuous it also has a bluetooth connectivity integrated so you don't have to buy a bluetooth uh, adapter uh, it also has uh, 12 volts output for different electronics if you want to power a relay or something you can do that um, it only provides half an amp so just small electronics before we start I'm gonna show you what wiring I done prior to the installation so I upgraded the cable uh, the cables from the motor with 10 gauge cables uh, and also fitted banana plugs on them um, this cable is uh, the sensors cable from the motor I cut the plug from the old controller and uh, wire the plug that will fit my vest so uh, it's not that complicated to figure out the wiring for the sensors uh, if you check the plug it has three wires separate and two wires uh, separate again so the the separate uh, two wires are one it's the ground and one is the uh, voltage and the other three are uh, the whole sensors one two three okay uh, the sensors uh, order I I tested purely so on this plug uh, the first sensor it's the yellow uh, green is the second and third is the blue um, it worked fine on my old controller and it's gonna work fine on the this one also uh, this cable um, I'm using to power the VESC uh, it's just uh, two wires uh, extended from the key switch on my car okay uh, the next one is uh, this uh, this cable was uh, used to power the old vest so we we're not gonna use this one right now okay uh, I still need to do some wiring uh, this cable comes from the throttle pedal uh, I cut the old wire so I'm gonna show you exactly how to wire onto a vest plug The throttle pedal goes on the uh, com uh, plug on the VESC and if you can see it, they're all described here so for the for the throttle we need voltage either 5 volts or VCC is 3.3 volts maximum uh, we need a ground and we're gonna use a DC1 plug okay so To connect the throttle pedal to the VESC we need a 8 pin G, uh, GST plug I think it's a PH, a PH type uh, I'm gonna fit it on the VESC and select the wires I need so I need the red wire which is 3.3 volts I need the ground wire and a DC1 wire the rest I will uh, I will shorten so I want to confuse them and connect something else so I'm gonna cut them shorter okay I'm gonna isolate them a bit later so that's all we need uh, to connect the throttle pedal 
Okay, so let's go. The throttle pedal has also three wires. Green one is the signal, black the ground, and red the plus wire. So, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, minus it's the white wire and yellow on this plug is the ADC one That's all you need to connect the throttle pedal. Uh, for the reverse switch, um, I connected these two wires on the reverse switch on the car. Cut the old plug from uh, from the stock controller and connected two wires to this three pin GST that will connect to the uh, PPM. Uh, port on the VESC okay um, it will connect on this one because uh, this VESC uh, it has uh, Bluetooth uh, integrated so we will use the servo signal for the reverse switch um, that's basically it for now uh, let's start uh, connecting the, the VESC and we're gonna do some programming. I'm gonna show you how to program the VESC for the first time. First thing to do is install the batteries. Today I'm gonna use three 6S batteries, uh, 14 milliamps each. Uh, I put uh, some foam here so they don't vibrate. And so one, two, three batteries. I'm using the same uh, battery mount, I just uh, bent a little bit so it will fit more batteries. So, goes like this. So the batteries are fixed properly. To connect the batteries to the VESC I'm using this harness. I made uh, 
it can connect up to four batteries in series today we're gonna connect just three and uh, that's why I have this uh, bridge here so it can work with three if I'm gonna remove this I can connect a battery here it will work with four batteries in series so one two it with the batteries before I con I connect the VESC I'm gonna install this heat sink on the VESC I already drilled some holes and they will connect to the, this uh, uh, threaded holes on the VESC uh, they use M5 screws for that Vesk is mounted. Let's connect the, uh, all the plugs and see how it goes. First of all, we connect the motor wires. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you do it before you pro uh, program the motor. Um, so. Uh, it's very important not to mix them up afterwards or the motor will not spin. Two, three. These uh, other cables are when you have a very powerful motor to connect to the vest so it can uh, split the power uh, better. Okay. 
now uh, I'm installing this is the switch it goes here okay sensor cable it goes to the sensor port throttle goes to the communication port and the reverse switch and they're all connected okay these are all the connection required uh, to run a VESC controller on your car move that the other wires out of the way we don't need these not now anyway we'll see a bit later okay now let's check that the switch is off okay to connect the power to the VESC uh, I'm using these um, anti-spark plugs um, they have a small uh, resistance um, on the plus uh, side of the of the plug so they uh, they can uh, consume the surge that's in the cables right now and from the batteries and uh, this will uh, protect your uh, uh, controller not to get burned um, when you connect the anti-spark plugs you need to connect them just slightly so it can it can touch wait around a second and then you push it all the way same with all that's why you have the the brake on the side it shows you how much you can connect and then connect all the way